Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about uh, problems on calendars. In the last two sessions, uh, I have explained about the uh, introduction part and the concept of calendars. Now, we will start problems from this session onwards. Now, let us see the first question in this session. See here, today is Monday. Let us suppose that today is Monday. After 61 days, after 61 days, it will be water. Basically, if you want to solve the problems related to this one, see, given that today is Monday, given that today is Monday, after 61 days, given that if today is Monday, we can assume that, we can assume that Monday is called as zero. Monday is called as zero. Why? Because uh, he already, we know that basically always the week is starts with zero. Week is starts with zero and that is uh, Sunday. But here there is a condition that uh, he is mentioning about today is Monday. We don't know today is Monday or not, right? That is the reason why we have to take uh, this zero as Monday. Now, we need to find number of odd days uh, in 61 days. Uh, how can we calculate number of odd days in 61 days? Uh, once you go through previous uh, sessions, uh, it is very easy to understand. Uh, if you want to calculate number of odd days, always you have to divide with uh, 7. Once the weeks are removed from those days, uh, then whatever the remainder left over whatever the remaining days left over those days are called as uh, extra days which are nothing but uh, odd days see 61 by 7 61 by 7 this is uh, cancelled 8 times uh, 56 8 times 56 and the remainder is equal to 5 and the remainder is equal to 5 therefore number of odd days uh, Number of odd days is equal to 5. Number of odd days is equal to 5. Given that today is Monday. So, you can consider this Monday as 0. Now, according to this case, uh, we have number of odd days. We have number of odd days as 5. Therefore, 1 is equal to Tuesday, 2, Wednesday, 3, Thursday and next Friday and finally 5 is called as uh, Saturday. 5 is called as uh, Saturday. Saturday is the right answer for this question. Guys, uh, these kind of problems are very important. Uh, some people will take odd days as 0 and uh, they will start with Sunday onwards. Uh, but we should not start with Sunday whenever he will give today is Monday or tomorrow is Saturday. We don't know whether today is Monday or not. Uh, we should not consider that particular case. Uh, because of that reason, you always you should consider that particular day is 0. Always Monday is equal to 0 whenever he will give if condition. Basically, these kind of problems are called as if condition problems. For if condition problems, you need to take uh, that particular day is equal to 0. And you can calculate number of days, uh, number of odd days as usual by taking uh, 61 divided by 7 after removing weeks and remaining days are left over with uh, 5. That 5 is called as uh, number of odd days uh, in 61 days. Uh, therefore, 5 is equal to Saturday for this question. Option B is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here. The last day of a century cannot be. The last day of a century cannot be. Cannot be in the sense uh, as we already know that, as we already know that, uh, in the previous sessions, we have discussed about uh, 100 years, 200 years, 300 years and also 400 years. Uh, every century, every century, for every century, we have discussed about uh, number of odd days. Uh, here, number of odd days, 5 for 100 years, 3 for 200 years. 1 for 300 years and 0 for 400 years. For every 400 multiples, uh, number of odd days are 0. Now, 
five indicates Friday. Five indicates Friday according to our standard format. Zero is Sunday. One Monday. And next two. Uh, as we know that two is equal to Tuesday, but uh, Tuesday is not there. Three is equal to Wednesday, and four is equal to Thursday. And next five is equal to Friday. And finally, six is equal to Saturday. Six is equal to Saturday. According to the question, the last day of a century cannot be. Here, five is nothing but Friday. Three is nothing but what? Wednesday. And next, one is equal to Monday. And next, zero is equal to Sunday. Zero is equal to Sunday. Here, he is asking about. He is not asking about can be. He is asking about cannot be. Cannot be in the sense except these four. Except these four. Friday should be there. Definitely Friday is one of the possibility. So this option is eliminated. Wednesday is one of the possibility. This option is also eliminated. Monday is one of the possibility. That is also eliminated. Sunday is also possible. But Sunday is not given. So obviously the answer is Tuesday. Tuesday cannot be the last day of a century. So Tuesday is the right answer for this question. Tuesday is the right answer. Next question. See here, which of the following is not a leap year? Which of the following is not a leap year? Guys, as I already told you regarding leap year, how could how could you Identify whether that particular year is leap year or normal year. That is very simple. If any number is divisible by four, any number is divisible by four, that is a leap year. But there is an exception condition. There is an exception condition. That is, for centuries, that must be divisible by four hundred. That is not divisible by four. Every century is divisible by four, but uh, we have to check it out uh, whether that particular century year is divisible by 400 or not. Uh, unless and until it is divisible by 400, we should not consider that particular year as leap year. Now, the question what he is asking is which of the following is not a leap year? Not a leap year in the sense normal year. He is talking about normal year. As you observe carefully, each and every option, among four options, each and every option is a century. Each and every option is a century. What is the condition for century? That particular year must be divisible by 400. Here, 2000 is divisible by 400. So, this is a leap year. 1200 is divisible by 400. That is also a leap year. But we want a normal year. And 800 is also divisible by 400. So, this is also leap year. This is leap year. This is leap year. And this is also leap year. But whereas coming to this 700. 700 is not divisible by 400. So, this 700 is belongs to normal year. That is not a leap year. Option A is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, how many days are there in X weeks, X days, X weeks, how many days? We are calculating number of days, X weeks, X days. See, basically, suppose for example, there are two weeks, three days. So many students confuse that if the values are given in terms of X, whether it is 7X square or 8X or 14X or else we cannot say exactly. Some people will confuse. If I write like this, definitely they will say the answer. See, 2 weeks and 3 days. 2 weeks is equal to 14. 14 days plus extra 3 days, which is equal to 17 days. You can directly set that 2 weeks. How can you get this 14? 2 into 7. Here also same thing. Here x weeks. X weeks is nothing but X into 7. You have to multiply every week with 7 in order to get the number of days. 
plus how many days are given? X days. 7x plus x. What is 7x plus x? Which is equal to 8x. 8x is the right answer. Option B. 8x is the right answer. Option B is the right answer. Guys, these kind of problems are very important. Why? Because uh, if the numbers are given, then you can easily solve. But numbers are not given. Instead of numbers, uh, if he gives the variables, then some people will confuse. Uh, so, you have to be very much careful about uh, these kind of uh, problems. Guys, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.